welcome back to my channel and welcome to part three of my Whole30 mini series that I'm doing. If you haven't seen part one and two, I'll link part one up in the cards and then you'll also be able to find part two in the description of that video. And for this video, I thought it'd be fun to show a few clips that I filmed during the Whole30. There's a vlog that I attempted, but I didn't really finish and there is some footage of food that I had made while on the Whole30. The footage from the vlog is not super professional, exactly how I would have wanted it, but I thought it'd be fun to show that part because you can tell that my skin has improved since doing the Whole30. When I filmed that video, I had broken out a lot and I also had a lot of oil on my face at the end of the day in the the last half of the clip, you'll see that my makeup was coming off my nose, which still happens, but it's definitely a lot better than it was. Also, don't pay attention to the fact that I'm wearing the same shirt in the vlog that I am wearing in my other videos. I guess I like that shirt. Good morning. Sorry it's been so long since my last video. I have been trying to figure out what's going on with my stomach and trying to find healthier ways to eat and just feel better overall. And while I've been doing all this research, I came across the Whole30 and we started it. Joey's been really great and supportive. And we are on day five now. It hasn't been easy. Even though we eat pretty much like you're supposed to eat, we still were splurging on different sugar items or alcohol and that is definitely making a difference now that we don't have those things. So today we're going to go out and grocery shop for a few things for the week and run some errands and I thought I'd take you with and do a little vlog. So, or vlog, they're called vlogs. So let's go. Before we get going, I just wanted to show real quick what I'm doing before we go grocery shopping. I grabbed my Whole30 book and I flipped through Usually I'll flip through their seven day meal plan or they, the recipes they have in here are really good and they're very easy to make. It kind of reminds me of making those HelloFresh meals. You just have to buy the ingredients ahead of time. And for us, the seven day meal plan doesn't work exactly because some of these foods aren't easy enough to do on our schedule and we have so little time to cook. So I made my own little template. I had to write it out because our printer doesn't work and so I couldn't do my fancy Excel spreadsheets that I like to do normally because I'm a nerd like that. So I wrote out a few meals. I haven't finished yet, but it was kind of nice yesterday. I got to sit out in the sun and pick a few meals and just do some meal planning. That was really fun. wasn't very successful. I didn't really vlog very much. Joey and I are still getting used to filming while we're out and it's a little <laughs> uh, embarrassing sometimes. So we got a little bit of footage, but I thought I'd show you what we got at the stores we went to. We also went to Costco and um, Best Buy. So I'll show you what we got real quick. So here is what we got at Costco and Best Buy. Obviously we didn't get the food at Best Buy, but we got this Smart Things outlet that I'm gonna use when we make recipes that require a crock pot because we don't have a timer on our crock pot. And then Costco, I found some kombucha that we can have on Whole30 and this spiralizer, which I was gonna get one online, but Costco, of course, had a great price for a pretty well-rated product and got some fresh fruit, eggs, because we've already gone through the ones I bought two days ago 
and then um, some coffee for the cold brew that I'm making. We also went to Whole Foods and got a few things, and we got pork shoulder for some pulled pork carnitas we're gonna do. I found some unsweetened, sorry, it's not a focus, unsweetened sunflower seed butter that we can use for one of the sauces called Sun Sweet Surprise or something like that. I needed cotton balls. Um, and then there's a few recipes where we need chicken broth and dill weed. Uh, what I like about Whole Foods is if you don't need a whole container of seasoning, you can find these little packets that are a dollar or two dollars of maybe just what you need or enough for a few recipes. And we also got wild salmon that's canned. We're making salmon cakes, what are they called? Anyways, yeah. um, and then some canned tuna. And I wanted sliced almonds. It sounds really lazy, but these are just better than the ones I chopped up the other day. And I wanted them to top our salads with. So that's what we got. <laughs> 